All you ladies pop your purple like this, A's. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jagu. That kind of hurt my shoulder. So in today's extra beyond extra news, Too Faced just recently launched their collection called Life's a Festival and it looks like it is an ode to all things barfing up rainbows and Coachella aesthetic type of looks, which is right about that time. Coachella's in like a couple months. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of color. And because you guys asked in my last video, I'm going to be reviewing it and sharing my thoughts, giving you guys a demo on everything. Before we get started, today's video is done in partnership and sponsored by Audible. Thank you Audible for sponsoring this video today. And also, can I just say a huge, huge, huge thank you because I don't think you guys understand how much support I get for all of the sponsored opportunities that I take. You guys rarely ever give me a hard time about it and you understand that like I got bills to pay, you know? So I just wanna say thank you for that. I really appreciate the support. Audible is not new to my channel. You guys have heard about it several times, but for those of you that are new, Audible contains audiobooks, podcasts, news, like you name it, whatever you can listen to, you can hear it on Audible. I use it for podcasts and books. I always kind of look out for like motivational stuff on Audible, especially in this industry. This industry can be so draining and, and so negative with social media. I'm constantly using Audible as a source to like keep me balanced, keep me motivated and keep me, I guess just my daily dose of inspiration and positivity in a way. The book that I'm reading now is by Phil Knight, I think it's, yeah, Phil Knight and it's called Shoe Dog and it, it sounds random as hell, I know. But Dennis got me into it and I'm hooked, girl. I'm hooked. It's about the life and times of the guy who started Nike and I learned some really interesting things about him. One, he's a veteran, which automatically pulled me into the book even more, but it's just going through the, you know, the ups and downs of how he started the company, what inspired him to start the company, all the hurdles that he jumped through, all of the challenges that he jumped through, the spontaneous ideas that he never thought would ever come into fruition that did in creating this big massive empire that is Nike today. It's a really inspiring book. If you guys are looking to one day start a business of your own or just, start a new venture in anything, in any walk of life. I think a lot of you guys would really enjoy this book and I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. For me, what makes or breaks the book is who's narrating it because sometimes the person who's narrating it, like if it sounds like you're reading it, I don't enjoy it as much. And with this book, it kind of sounds like he's reading it, but it's still enjoyable. Half the stuff could even be made up. Only God knows, I don't know. But I really enjoy the book and I really enjoy hearing how bold and fearless he was in starting this brand. And I don't know, it's just a really, really good book. If you wanna sign up for Audible, all you gotta do is go to audible.com slash Jackie Ina. It's kind of like a referral link. So actually, if you sign up, it kind of helps you grow out. If you are a new member, if you click that link, you get a 30 day free trial. You can listen to a lot of books and podcasts in 30 days. That membership also includes one free audiobook a month and book titles that are sometimes up to 30% off. If you have an iPhone or an iPad or an Android, or a Windows phone, then the app is free. So once again, that link is audible.com slash J-A-C-K-I-E-A-I-N-A. -A -A. In case you didn't know how to spell my name, I'm not judging. I see some very questionable things in the comment section. Either way, it's in the description box, so you'll see it. I'm gonna put it right there regardless. A quick way you can also sign up is text Jackie Ina, all one word, Jackie Ina to 500-500, and you're good to go. I'm really enjoying you guys' book recommendations. Please keep them coming because I'm always actively looking for new content to search out. Because I'm so busy, girl! I just don't always have time. As much as I love physical books, I just don't always have the time, so I really appreciate services like this because it makes getting knowledge and motivation super easier for me. Please continue to leave recommendations down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's demo. But subscribe first. Like, I don't know what kind of game you think we run here, but this channel thrives on love and support from all of you. And I can't keep making good quality content if you don't keep coming back to enjoying these videos. So join the Jackie Ina family. I wanna see you come back, okay? I wanna see you. So first let's start off with the eyeshadow palette. This is called the Life's a Festival Peace, Love, and Unicorn Eyeshadow. This is so Jared. Jared is so extra. When I first saw this, I was like, there's a lot happening. And I'm not quite sure 
what yet? As I've gotten older, I've kind of strayed away from all of the super, super colorful palettes, but I'm also not mad at this either. What I do actually kind of like about this palette is there's a nice mixture of like duochromes and some frosted shades. I am, however, kind of feeling like this is a palette best used with other palettes, AKA a companion palette, just because I need a little bit more matte. Like they need to be like sandwiched in between other more meaningful colors. <laughs> I do like the color selection though. It kind of reminds me of like a rainbow. I mean, like it literally goes from like red, orange, yellow, greens, purples, and blue. So you got all the bases covered. Palette is 42 Zuolas and you get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 color shades. And there's also a mirror. I feel like I'm the only person in the world who just started using shadow insurance. Like what was I doing? I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on my eye. Pop, 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 pop. Dennis and I have a date tonight at a really bougie restaurant and it's just gonna be funny, you know, to have me walking in with purple eyeshadow everywhere. It's fine. Take me as I am or don't take this American Express. How you doing? Okay, I think I really wanna go in for some color. Like these purples are kind of, literally, I, I, I actually feel like this whole row, I wanna have a word with these four colors right here. I want a one-on-one -on -one meeting right now. Let's see how much of this palette I can use on its own without having to bring in reinforcements from an outside palette. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with Desert Vibes, which I think may be a little bit on the light side, but it's kind of like a beige camel color. And I'm going to blend that. Actually, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Desert Vibes and Rainbow Life. I'm gonna do the, a combination of these two colors right here, right there. And then blend those into my crease. Yeah, we definitely need more Rainbow Life because Desert Vibes is a little bit on the light side, but Rainbow Life is doing just that, bringing this look to Rainbow Life. It could have a lot to do with the fact that I mixed this with Desert Vibes, but Rainbow Life is looking a little dull. So I'm gonna see how it looks like on its own on this side. Okay, yeah, that's better. Oh, you know what it is? It's cause it's frosty. Not getting a lot of fallout yet, but I am getting some kickback on the shadow palette. Not particularly, I'm like either or. I mean, it's annoying, but it definitely doesn't stop me from using eyeshadow palettes. I definitely have some other ones that kind of do the same thing and it doesn't really, doesn't really bother me, but I do know that some people do make a note of it. So far she blended nice though. She looking real cute. I'm blending out those two colors also along my bottom lash line. I do it all for the color. Come on, the color, come on. So you can take the color and shove it up your web, show it up your web. I wish Rainbow Life wasn't frosty. I'm kind of regretting using it in my crease because you know how frosty shadows look like when you use them in the crease? They just don't. They just don't feel welcome. They don't fit right in, you know? Let's go into fantasy. I just realized that's not fantasy. It's called fantasy. That reminds me of hunt. It's like hunty, but fantasy. And pop that along our bottom lash line. Purple is actually one of my favorite colors to smoke out along the bottom lash line. So let's really make it worth our time. Sorry, I'm sorry. Was I blocking you? Damn, my bad. Doing this in like into the mirror just because my eye shape is not, my eye shape is just, it's a lot, it's a mess, it's tragic, you know? Uh, but, ooh, that's a pretty color though. Stunning, me and my big old bug-eyed self. My love, do you ever dream of the color and you're the same, my caring. Don't get distracted, keep blending. I'm also gonna bring that color into my outer, ooh, that is stunning. Stunning mixed with rainbow life. Oh my God. It almost turned it into like a fuchsia color. So I'm popping that into the outer corner of my crease area. I'm gonna really pack on that purple. I can't find my blending brushes. Where are they? Hey, I just learned something fun. Um, all of the brushes, the new set of brushes from MAC that have an S at the end of the number. So this one is the 221 S. It means that they're synthetic. Apparently they're changing all of their animal hair brushes and turning them into synthetic or not turning them, but they aren't making animal hair anymore. Going back and forth with my blending brush and like softening out the purple too. Oh, there's our fallout. Fallout alert. This purple's really having a hard time blending on top of the shimmer color. Let's also pop it in the inner corner. All you ladies pop your purple like this. Hey, take your body, don't stop, don't quit. I wanna pop that right on the inner corner. Yeah, this looks much better on its own. Ooh, it matches my nails. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. All right, I've been checking for Mystic Rain ever since I opened this palette. This color is stunning. I'm gonna take that. Okay, that's not doing 
what I wanted it to do because it's, bl it's blue. Okay, well, whatever, is blue, then it's blue. If it's blue, then it's blue then. Definitely got way more of the blue pulling through than the purple is. It's not like it doesn't match the look, so let's just, let's just go with it, it's fine. Oh, you know what? Let's take Euphoric and put that on top to soften some of the, oh, that's exactly, exactly what I wanted it to do. And oh, that's much prettier. Ooh, I love that. For the lid, I'm gonna take Artist Pass. It's one of those, ooh, wow. And then I'm gonna put, ooh, now that's blue. <laughs> I totally said I wasn't gonna go for blue and here we are, you know? It's just it's just where life takes us. Ooh, it's a bright blue too. It's practically turquoise, if anything. It's a stunning color though, I'm not even gonna lie. Artist Pass and Mystic Rain at this point. Okay, this is a lot more colorful than what I originally like envisioned in my head, but I'm not gonna say no to color ever. I'm gonna go back to, that's such a funny name. I'm gonna go back to Fantasy and take like a tapered pencil brush. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna use this brush. I'm gonna use the Sigma E20 Short Shader and I'm going to just line my top lash line with it. This purple with this green is doing it, girl. Like it's doing all of it. My halo got kind of lost, so now I'm applying a little bit of purple. Oh. Oh, so funny. I came in here wanting to look neutral and here I am. <laughs> Three carnivals later. For mascara, I'm gonna take my number one favorite. Most of the time when I apply mascara and I don't say what it is, it's usually this one. And you'll know because you'll see the little pink lid. Lots of fallout though. Ooh, a lot more than I realized. Mm -mm. I have some of these violet Voss glitters that I thought would be so pretty to put on top. Oh my God, these are glitters. This is in the color Amour. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I need glitter glue. Pause, I need glitter glue, okay. Now well, the flip side is the fallout did dust off easily, so that's good. Sometimes when it stains under eye, oh my God, that's the freaking worst. Apparently I have a glitter glue from Violet Voss, so I guess I'll just use that. I'm just gonna dab a bit of that on my eyes and then pop some of that Amour glitter on top. I'm also gonna take a little bit of Love Shack. I'm gonna pop that on top. You wanna be on top? This makes a really nice addition to this look. This purple. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. This is toning down the look, making it more church appropriate, you know, better for school, board meetings, things of that nature. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with what the eyes are doing. As for my lashes, I used the Oh, shoot. I use the Vegas Lash from Whiplash. I will link it down in the description box below. The eyeshadow palette, I think, uh, I liked it, but then again, I didn't. I felt like the quality, is mainly in the mattes, was slightly different from what I'm used to in Too Faced shadows. Like the Sweet Peach, let me tell you something. This was guaranteed palette of the year for me, 2017. I already have two backups because I, I love the color selection, I love the quality, The it's all matte, so you're pretty much stuck with all matte, which I think is really hard because shimmers are kind of easy to get away with. I felt like fun to see, even when swatched, it's just not, something is just different about the mattes in this palette. It may even just be fun to see because you know, Desert Vibes isn't swatching like that. Young and Free kind of is, like they just feel a little, a little chalky powdery. The duochrome shimmers though, I did like. I really like those. I'm here for the shimmers and not so much here for the mattes. If you do like a lot of color and you like a lot of shimmer, you're gonna be all the way here for that palette. I just kinda need an even ratio of both. That has a lot of duochrome shimmer shadow, so you have to use that with another palette. Kind of like the Fenty Galaxy palette, you know how it was like all shimmer? Yeah, this is kind of the equivalent of that. And the few mattes that are in there, like I just wouldn't, I'm not really checking for them. Let's move on, shall we? Too Faced also came out with these unicorn highlighting sticks and I'm not gonna lie, every time I see them, I pick them up and I just sniff them. Oh, they smell so good. I feel like highlighter sticks can afford to have smell. It's not like your foundation or your concealer. I'm not bothered by it, but I can totally see why some might be annoyed. These are 28 dollars each and this color is Unicorn Dreams. It looks pink, but it's duochrome, so it actually reflects more of like a true yellow gold. And this is Unicorn Tears, you know, oh wow. 
that's real purple. This is really purple, girl. This is Unicorn Tears. You know, Jared has the whole Unicorn Tears line with Too Faced. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm having withdrawals, not using La Peach for this look. It just doesn't feel right. I'm gonna need them to bring it, okay? I'm gonna really need them to bring it. La Peach is just life. LeBron's is life as well. Shout out to Jared who just enjoys the finer things in life, like something that smells pleasant because smell is just sentimental. And for me, like, it just makes me feel good. That's all. Using the Magic Rainbow Strobing Brush, I'm gonna pop on a little bit of that Unicorn Dreams just on the corners of my cheekbone. Ooh. I'm not feeling like gold is attacking my cheekbone. Like sometimes those gold highlighters just have too much yellow in them and I'm just like, oh no, mm -mm, honey, back up, back up. I love the way that this is paired with this whole look though. Let's also carry it, let's carry it, let's, let's cross it over all the way up into the cheekbone. This is definitely like not an everyday go. Well, it could be, I mean, it could be. It just depends on what you like, girl, I'm not judging. And the fact that it's cream also makes it so that the gold doesn't stand out too much. Like this looks really pretty, especially with this look. So here's a side profile of what that looks like. As you can see, it definitely complements today's look. This collection also comes with two bronzers. This is the Iridescent Mystical Bronzer and the Rainbow Strobe Effect Highlighter. You guys remember these, right? The Rainbow Strobe Highlighters. These have not, these are not really new. Like they've been out for a while. I don't really know if I'm into them. What you're supposed to do is take the strobe brush and do your stroke situation and then swipe it on and it's, oh, that's pretty, but I don't, I need to see more of it though. Okay, so let's try it again. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I was ready to roast, but that's really pretty. But how do you put that on the cheek though? Like that's not really, like I don't want a big old rainbow stripe down the side of my face. I Maybe you do, but I don't. Oh, there's a smell. <sighs> or is that coming from the rainbow highlighter? It kinda smells like sweet tarts. I'll report back later. Let's just see what it looks like on one cheek, I guess. Let's just, let's just do it. Oh no. Okay, it's not terrible, but it's Definitely a lot. I wouldn't call this a practical collection, but I don't think it was meant to be practical. Like I think this was literally meant to be festival, Coachella serving you abstract, you know, extraterrestrial Katy Perry type of tease, you know? I don't want this to look blotchy. So I'm going over a little bit with my blush brush just to kind of marry all the colors. But you know what? I'm not, like I'm not really against this. I would actually use this product if I had a look that called for it. Now let's try the Iridescent Mystical Bronzer. I can't tell if this is meant to be a highlighter or like a bronzer bronzer. I'm not really sure. There's lavender in here and I just wouldn't think to pop lavender on my complexion to bronze. So this is a product that I don't really know what to do with. You know what? I'm gonna try mixing the two colors and just highlighting. Okay, these two colors are actually stunning together. I'm feeling like the lavender tones down that yellowness a bit. And ooh, that's really pretty. I'm keeping that. I'm gonna hang on to that for now. This is gonna be my favorite product from the collection that I've been using all week. It's the Festival Refresh Spray. I mean, it looks pretty, it smells amazing. It just looks pretty. It just looks mystical and pretty. I feel like this collection was more of an experience, not just a look, like it was about an experience, like experiencing festival. This one I feel is one of the more practical products from the collection. And I love, oh my God, it smells so good. I love the fact that you can smell it when you spray it because I feel like sometimes those sprays, the smell doesn't transfer. And I've been using this a lot to kind of like de-powder up my fresh, fresh makeup looks. You know when you put on makeup and it's fresh and it's all powdery and chunky and um, you know, I don't got time. I don't got time to waste to be, <coughs> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take my selfie now. I don't wanna have to wait two to three hours until the oil in my skin breaks through for me to start looking, you know, lived in. This is $24. You get 3.4 fluid ounces. I would happily pay $24 for a spray that smells as good. Another product that I've also been using are, well, I shouldn't say all of them, but the Fairy Tears Magic Crystal Transforming Lip Topper. It's not sticky. It has a very unique feel compared to their other lip products. So this is Fairy Tears. This one I actually wore earlier today. I love these because this kind of is a more subtle approach to having like foil glitter lips. Sometimes 
the foil and the glitter and the stickiness is just too much. And then I, I find myself taking them off and then reapplying them all throughout the day because it's like so sticky and so heavy. These don't feel like that. This is Angel Tears. I love this one with like no liner, nothing, just the natural color of my lips. Just It just looks so good. So that is Angel Tears. Even though I wasn't expecting the texture, I'm telling you, you have to swatch them. This is Mermaid Tears. That is one hell of a color. Well, that's definitely gonna match today's look. You know what I feel like right now? Y'all seen that gif of the little girl putting on lip gloss and looking in the mirror and being like, That's exactly what I feel like right now. I need somebody from the PR team to reach out to Glozelle and send her this lip because this has Glozelle written all over it. This just isn't me. I think it looks good on me, but it's not me. I won't be looking to make any mermaids cry in the near future anytime soon. And the last color that I have is another one of Jared's signature unicorn tears. I would much rather see unicorn tears than I would mermaid tears. It was just, it was a lot to work my head around, you know? I still think fairy tears and angel tears are my two top favorites. My highlighter looks more lived in now that I've sprayed my face. Too Faced added four new lipsticks to their La Creme lipstick line in this collection. So we have fairy tears, unicorn tears, which already exists. Angel tears, which is really light, girl. You know, I actually want to use these as eyeshadows. That's what I want. I don't need this in a lipstick. I need this in an eyeshadow, like a pot. And this is Mermaid Tears, which looks kind of different compared to the lip topper. I think I'm gonna go with um, Angel Tears. Why not? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually put Angel Tears on the inside and then Fairy Tears, I'm actually gonna put around the outside of my lips. Ooh giving you a little dimension, just a little. Okay, this is doing a lot with the eyes though. No, actually on camera doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna put a little bit of Fairy Tears lip topper on top because that's just what I'm gonna do. I do have to say the lip products are probably my favorite. I wouldn't wear all the colors. Very subtle, both on camera and in person, very wearable. Ooh, the longer I wear this lip, the more I'm into it. I would really like the lip to be a look on its own with the highlight, like just this, you know what, I actually kinda like this look. It's a lot less bold on my face now than I envisioned it, like when putting it on. Okay, so likes, dislikes about the collection. Palette, we've already talked about that. I think it's for me, it's passable, only because it's just a lot. And I would only use a palette like this for like specific looks that called for a lot of color like that. And some of the mattes were just not that pigmented, not that great. Shimmers were gorgeous though, so if you like duochromes, which this palette is more shimmer than it is matte, you know, so there's, there's always that. Best thing from the whole collection, hands down, is the Unicorn Tears spray. This should be called Unicorn. This is what needs to cheer it. This should have been called Unicorn Tears because it's wet, it's dripping. I'm gonna just spray more just because it makes me feel like I repent. It smells so good. I actually ended up really liking the highlights. The rainbow strobe situation, I was expecting to be like, cliche, stop it, stop. Because I'm not really into the whole rainbow strobing thing. But it was cute. I don't really feel like this is something that I could put on every skin tone though, especially not someone that's significantly deeper than me. Somehow, some way, I feel like the gold and the lavender and these two work. They're a team, they're a family. I feel like if there's anything Too Faced never got right again, they would always, always, always be amazing at lipsticks and like lip products in general. I love the formula and the finish of the lip toppers. On their own, I feel like they're gorgeous. Like. It just looks like a subtle toned down foil lip. And the lipsticks, same. Angel Tears and Fairy Tears just kind of did it. The highlight sticks, I did think were really cute, especially, she was looking real good. She's trying to get my collarbone popping. All in all, don't go out and buy out everything in this collection if you don't want to. I mean, don't go out and buy anything from any collection for that matter. You don't, do you ever really need the whole entire collection? Well, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna take myself and my lip toppers off to bed now. Actually, I have to drive to Orange County tonight. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Life's a Festival review slash demo and tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, everything at Jackie Ina. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And I make it so easy. All you gotta do is click, it's right there, dude. What I want you to do is tell me what you did for Valentine's Day. We started a fun Twitter discussion, so now we can take it here to YouTube. Tell me in the comments down below what you did for Valentine's Day, if anything, or if you did Galentine's, that's cool too. And yeah, let's just keep the conversation going, all right? I'll see you, I'm waiting, I'll see you in the comments. Bye.